Hello, welcome back to Talking in the Library. I am the librarian and we are back with another episode of Bound. Sometimes we like a little show of pathetic fallacy just to prove that we are now, I believe, in the third and final act. So I think we're going to try and make this episode the finale, at which point we will then move on to another game, inevitably. Oh, you fuckhead. You're going to make me do all this again, are you? I'm just going to start it. <clears throat> there. Wasn't that nice? A little intro to the video. Ooh, let's see what's in this door. We're getting closer every time. How many more levels were there? There were like two more levels, weren't there? It's going to be a bit further towards the... Oh, this is... Well, we again... We went through that before. <coughs> I was getting all lackadaisical and confused. So, there's a couple questions still left to answer about this kind of... Like, I assume the story is all about this pregnant woman and her memories. And, and things like that. And then <clears throat> it's going to somehow relate to the idea of the ballerina traveling through the world trying to take back her kingdom from the evil king who used to be good potentially by using the help of another person who's down in the depths and also the queen. I don't know. I'm. There's a. I think that the. Uh, The first page of the book is always that little house, or that little path, or the red thing. Then the second page is always the daughter and the father holding hands, so I'm assuming it's all kind of tying together the relationship of the daughter and her father. This being Mind of Palace, recreation of the daughter. Oh shit, mum's gone. Okay, let's go back towards... Oh no, how about get away from me? I'm going to slowly dance down the aisle. Damn. Okay. Oh, is that... That's the Queen Mother. With a static screen in front of her. Oh my god, it's like the ring. Oh, not what I intended to do. So, where are we meant to be going then? Down here? Looks like down here. Damn it. One of these days I'll get used to games with fixed camera angles, but alas, it's not going to be today. Yeah, Resident Evil's been kicking my ass. It's actually been um, a massive learning curve. God, that goddamn bump fucking bat. It was just, it was getting to me. Well, this game's starting to look quite bleak now. This feels very much, um, I feel like we've managed to nail the exact same vibe and atmosphere as, um, or was it Endling that we played last? I think we managed to capture pretty much the same the same vibe. Alright, I'm not quite sure what I'm meant to be doing here. Oh, just 
just run, just run. Don't just ignore that. But yeah, I think the, so far our two Sunday playthroughs have been endling, of which um, I didn't actually, I don't actually have the complete version of the channel because the second episode was just so appalling, and glitchy, and glitchy. The same thing happened a little bit with um, the early episodes of Biome, and I was actually talking to my mate about this today. But the first, I think, I think there was a second episode of Biomutant, right after I thought I'd completed the prologue in the previous episode, and then realised I was actually about five minutes away from the ending. But um, the game just got super, super glitchy. Like, or rather, the recording of the game. The game itself hadn't been glitchy at all. And obviously, my voice had been crackling up, but the recording just fucked up, and I don't know how to fix it on DaVinci. But that happened so bad on. Um, the second episode of Endling that I was like, I can't, I can't in, in any kind of good conscience um, publish this and feel proud about it in any way. Not that I need specifically to feel proud about any of my videos, like, I think for the most part, as much as I love and appreciate everyone watching all the time, um, I also do, I'm doing this very much as it is one of the few things which would get me to commit to, um... One of the very few things that would get me to commit to actually playing all of the games that I have not yet played on my, uh, on my PS4. And I really, really want to play the games on my PS4, which is why I've been doing it. And I think that having, having a certain level of, um... <coughs> It's like when you go to the gym, you go with a gym buddy, right? Like, you want to go with someone so you can have that kind of social pressure to actually do it. And that's like me with this. That's, uh, you guys are my social pressure and I love you for it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, no, I'm trying to... What the frick? Oh, pretty. Okay. I forgot I could do that jump! Yeah. See, I'm pretty sick at this game as well. But yeah, so we've already we've already we're already cracking through some of the games in the library. I mean granted, I've been adding more since I started, so realistically the the, the playtime I've got left is actually longer. But that's not the point. The point is I get to actually check the titles off as I slowly play. Play through them all. There's gonna be some real oldies here. Although, oh my god. So my Xbox just got the Red Ring of Death. My Xbox 360 finally got the Red Ring of Death. And I've never had it before. I've had it for so long. But I really want to play some of the old Xbox games that I have. Um, because there's some absolute doozies there. I was, I was really looking forward to playing um, James Bond Bloodstone. That's what I was looking forward to playing. I thought it would, it's, it would be just so ridiculous and fun to play. One of the old school proper 2000s um, like shooting third person shooter games like just kind of cover based. It's a bit like Army of Two as well. There's there's so many of them where they're all kind of what is Oh I see. <coughs> it's just platform. Um Boogie down. Oh, are these the good guys. These are the guys that I rescued last time. Didn't they? Well, they don't seem to be attacking, so I'll take the good side. These guys definitely are. Though. Yeah, I was thinking a little bit about sort of what games to play next. <coughs> so there's definitely a Final Fantasy. Seven is an option that I mentioned. I think in the previous video. Right. Well, don't be a dick. This guy's being a dick. Oh, it's going down on me as well. You asshole. That's what I thought. 
Oh, this looks fun to work around. I don't think this is going to be a bitch with the physics at all. Oh wait, no, I forget. It's absolutely not going to be a bitch with the physics because I can walk on things like this. Just gonna do that before it starts launching those things in my face. Um, I do want to try out uh, some more of the, I guess, the AAA games that I've got as well. But also, I think basically I want to do games which I haven't seen played much. I mean, obviously there will be games which I definitely have seen played much, and also things which will definitely have been played a lot which I haven't seen. Fuck it, you know what, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna spin a random wheel and pick what it decides as per usual, because I don't, I, I, I guess I could go down like the marketing route of choosing things that loads and loads of people want to watch, but I don't really want to, I kind of just want to play the games I want to play. Hello Mr. Sleepyhead, you doing alright? Oh, hell yeah, it's, it's old mate. Oh! Ooh, carefully your schnoz there, buddy. Oh, right. I've picked up the story. The one horn one is older brother, which is why he's the banished one because the parents kicked him out of the house, and the mum didn't want that to be the case. But the dad made that happen because the son was on a dark path and doing things that the dad didn't approve of. So the dad was like, no, I don't like this. I can't have you in my house. And the mum was like, no, don't do that. And then uh, my character as the little sister, uh, aka this ballerina woman, um, was the one who kind of witnessed it all as a kid. That's what I'm guessing now. That's my new guess, and it is a far more competent guess, I think. Man, I don't know what is up or down anymore. It's all kind of confusing. Oh, walls closing behind me. Nice. Oh. If I just dance, I can probably just walk up normally, yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's, it was, it's kind of like a forced stealth section where I just really don't have to stealth and I can just run at him full on. Um, so that's fun. Going through here, up these stairs. I'm also running everywhere just because why wouldn't I? I know it's like a beautiful game to take in and stuff, but there's only so much to do. And it is very, very story oriented, so I'm very happy to look around the world and be thrilled by it as I'm going along, but if I'm just looking around this world for collectibles, I don't see it as being a much of a thrill a minute video, you know what I mean? Ooh, nearly overshot. Didn't overshoot though, but I nearly did. That's what nearly means. Well done. Thank you, Ollie, for your wonderful, wonderful contribution. Huh. I'm really upset that these aren't like little piano keys. Nintendo would have made them piano keys, calling it. Where? Is this like another fragment of memory is that kind of what the whole gist of this game thing is about what are these what and also why am i collecting these little gemstones what do they do for me are they helpful in any facet in any meaningful Another beautiful happy memory. Another little memory. 
God, this story is very... smoothly told. Like, it made me feel like I was piecing it together despite the fact that it's basically told me everything was going on. That's what I like. I like people making me feel smart when I'm in fact stupid. Hold on, I'm just gonna... Dad's sleeping. What's Mumsy saying? So the son, this nomad, this pariah, leading a peripatetic life on the run. Oh, what is he up? Oh. Shit. Very simple premise, but I like it. So the dad was asleep. The mum was worried. Guy was anyone who noticed he poured something hot onto his face, and presumably that's also why he's got the horn missing and he's damaged. He's got like the lava going through him and stuff because he was burned. And that's also even more trauma for my character as well. Because my character is obviously more important than the burn victim. Yeah, see, he's screaming now as well. Maybe that's why no one has a face. There was that book called Face, wasn't there? About the guy who got his face all mashed up. Oh shit, he died? Okay, this is getting actually quite intense. Ooh, I'm enjoying the narrative unfolding here. I was really hoping I was going to do like a little barrel run and that, that spin you just showed me there on the path ahead of me in this game. Thank you. That's, uh, so yeah. I can't tell whether I like that it's taking me back through the level because nothing's really changing about the level. I'm not. Like, I liked it when I was seeing all the like, vines and stuff die and unfold. But I'm not seeing that I'm just seeing that. See, I want that to be a barrel roll that I can do. I'm going back up to my castle. There we go. It's not looking so pretty anymore. Can we get to this door yet? Oh, just knocked the table with my controller. I'm gonna have a sip of water before continuing. Delicious. Okay, who are we looking at here? Oh, he's still got a face. Is it my character that was burned then? Maybe. We're on the last page now. Sweet, we can walk again. Going up to the house. Imagine I went back to the car now. Wouldn't that have frustrated you? Wouldn't that have made you annoyed? There's already been paths laid ahead of me in the sand. 
Come on, go in the house. I was going to say she's walking super slowly. Okay, is this the last one? Potentially. I guess we'll have to find out. Bad guy. <laughs> what am I meant to be doing? The fuck did I do? Whoa. Okay, we need to go back to this. God, it's looking beautiful. Kick it. Yeah. So what's going on? Come on, follow him. Don't let him get all depresso. See, look, I'm bringing my kingdom back to life. Come on, man. This one's a blue rip. Oh, you bastard. Come on. Have a heart. Oh my god, I'm covered in like the red fire stuff too. See, literally dancing. Like, I can just one by all the enemies by just dancing, and there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you. More to you, too. More. More. Now they're all turning green as well, and it's making me regret even more that they are not piano pieces and piano tiles. Sweet. Okay. I forgot I could roll for a sec and then realised that I was not in fact screwed. Hello. That was somewhat creepy, actually, the way you did that. Don't like that, please. Thank you. Yeah, you can fire on me if you want. But I'm not quite sure what I'm meant to be doing. Am I meant to be attacking him? Or is this a boss fight? Oh, that was pretty cool. Whoa! Nice! Okay, I guess I'll just keep going down this way then. <laughs> I'm just going to spin down here because I can't be bothered to walk down this excessively long moody thing. Oh yeah. Ladder time. Will I die if I jump off? I feel like, um, the story's definitely wrapping up, right? Like, 
You don't see sad father figures mourning the loss of a child at like the beginnings of story. That's what you definitely do. That's that's a thing which happens. Uh, Cool. Oh, and the bulls don't hate me anymore either. Nothing hates me. This is so thrilling. Yeah, like, I think there's rivers around myself. It literally doesn't let them do anything to me. I become invincible. Unless I jump off the edge into the abyss. Like a cretin. And jump! Epic organ music going on. It's just like, like Pirates of the Caribbean. You know the bits I'm talking about. Unless you haven't seen Pirates of the Caribbean, in which case you don't know the bits I'm talking about. But, um... Honestly, I think they can't. There isn't much help for you at this point if you haven't seen Pirates of the Caribbean. God. Look at that tower. Sick. It's reminded me of like the massive skyscrapers and stuff you climb in Mirror's Edge. This is when the twist comes in. Come on, bring me the twist. Bring it to me. I know you want to. Oh! Boss <laughs> fight. I guarantee you didn't really hit anything of what I just said, and I'll only find that out when I'm editing. At which point, there's not much I can do. What? What's going on? I just try and wait for this to kind of. Oh, this is just a garage. Oh, there's a pram. No one in it, though. So this is... Is this a happy memory now? Or a sad memory? Or, or what the fuck? He doesn't look particularly happy. She doesn't look particularly happy either. Um, where am I going? Ah, there. These guys don't look particularly happy. It's not a particularly happy scene. Anyway. Yep, I get it. I get it. You're upset about something which I, I don't quite know but I can just dance there's nothing you can do about it and then it will just cause like a big explosion and then you'll die or something like this getting the meaning of this. This does look cool though. The white ribbon I'm assuming is 
end game. So if we go, we need to do like another mission. Oh, this m marimba man is on a madness. Everything's looking so much healthier and more vibrant now. Big oranges and stuff. It does so look like the cover of the Muse album. Well, like that. That looks like it's about to, like the orange QB stuff. It looks like. It. Oh, hello. What are you doing? Why don't you jump down? Because you're climbing up with me. Yeah. Guess we'll just meet him there. There's the door. There's the door. I saw the door. But this is the final door. So we've just been going one stage up the entire time. Come on, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, let me see it. Oh, you're letting me get so close to the door. Okay, materialize. Damn. What's, what's going on here? What is going on? I don't understand. There we go. Oh, that makes so much sense that those are the start and the end. But I don't understand the meaning of the story here. Time to go up these stairs. Incredibly slowly. Incredibly slowly. Cool. Whoa. Oh my god, is that my dad? Or not? Husband? So I'm in the chair now, but... Sick. Okay. Now I've got the power. Oh, that's crumbling at my feet. Yeah, is this the last little? No, I just run this one. Hello, hello. Where are you going to? Who this? This game is oddly giving me vibes of um, Bridge to Terabithia for some reason. I mean, I know it's the game is nothing like the film, with the film, but it just gives me the vibe of Bridge to Terabithia, like a comfort film or like a comfort game. Tonally, I guess somewhat similar as well, like Fantastical World meets Real World. Fantastical world is symbolic of real world. Okay. Oh. It's just a, it's a story about divorce. Divorce? That or the dad is leaving. Fuck. 
father. Damn. So the dad left. dad that she's gonna like go and reconnect with and that's my brother can you um God, she's moving so slowly. It's painful. It's painful. Oh. So that was me tracking down my father, trying to face my demons. And ultimately, at the end, choosing not to? Was that something where it had multiple endings? Or... Was this the end? That was the end, though. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, first thoughts about the game is it was well told in that it didn't reveal everything at the beginning, but by the end I knew like fairly, fairly exactly what was happening. So it's good that it did that, that was good storytelling. I will say the gameplay felt too easy. It felt a bit more like a walking sim than like a game. It wasn't very gamey. Um, there's some platformer elements to it, but nothing drastically difficult. But my god, the game itself was so stunning. It just looked so good that like, regardless of it could have it could it could have had shit gameplay for an extra hour and I would have still played it. But it. I'd say it was a very fun game. It was, in oh my god, the super hot team. I love super hot. Anyway, uh, hmm. I would say, for me, this game felt like a probably five out of ten. Like it was good. It was very, it was kind of an average game. It looked really, really good, but, and so that would have, like, if it had been based on its appearance and its narrative and that kind of thing, then I would have brought it up to a six. But the fact that it was quite bland gameplay-wise, I'm bringing it back down to a five, just to make it sort of, it averages out as, like, an average. It's fun. I think it was, I think it was, I'm glad that I played it. It was worth it. Um, but just all of the images looked stunning. They just, it looked amazing. I was blown away by how it looked. Um, maybe a 5.5. 5 5.5 sounds really right. It's slightly above average. It's definitely above average. Like, look at this. Look at this animation. It's, it is gorgeous. And the amount of thought that they put into a game that's this short as well. Like, it, there's very few games this short that have this much attention put, put into them. And so, I'm, I don't know. I think it's really good. I was a fan. I was a fan. I also just like the uh, 
the general ambiance of how it kind of changed from act to act to act to act. At various points, it didn't quite connect with the real world, but fuck it, it doesn't need to. It's just, it's, it's, it's a, it can do what it wants to, and it, and it did what it wanted to do. I think it achieved probably what it wanted to do. Then he was trying to set out to try and make set any gameplay models or like mechanics that were going to blow people's minds. It was basically just pull the right trigger to dance, and then you can fuck up your enemies by doing some ballet. And that worked for me. I I enjoyed it. I do, I do also like that there was a constant monolithic presence. Whoa, I didn't see that part. Where, where's this? This is just like Journey, by the way, when it goes back through the whole kind of... Uh, all of the levels to try and find the places where you were, and you get all the kind of action shots of it. Anyway, credits are coming to a close, so I am going to be doing my outro at the same time. Thank you very much for joining me today for the finale of Bound. This has been Talking in the Library. I have been the librarian. And I will see all of you guys in the next video. Alright, bye bye.